Okay, so the first card is change. So big change is coming in for you here. Uh, a lot of secrets are going on or a lot of maybe gossip going on behind your back that you're not aware of. So people are pretending to be uh, very friendly and really they are uh, saying a lot of things that uh, are not really nice behind your back. So be aware of that. Uh, you might be ending a situation with somebody, so might, you might be ending a relationship as well. So that could be, well, what's going on. Now, in the past, you've got the card of frustration. So something's happened that is, uh, you know, maybe things are not moving fast enough. Things are not changing fast enough. But then the change card is coming. You have been going through a period of being very frustrated, very unhappy. Um, and you might have been spending a lot of time at home and a lot of time by yourself as well. So going into the future, whatever this change brings, brings in a lot of peace of mind for you. So whatever news or whatever is going on, there, it looks like it's going to be moving into a positive cycle where some peace comes in for you. And there's some kind of letter or some kind of uh, news that comes in, some kind of information coming in for you. And, you know, that is probably going to be uh, something that you've been waiting for and something that brings you peace of mind. So some kind of surprise coming in. But it is it looks like it's a positive surprise because it's uh, preceded by this peace card, which is showing that, you know, it's it's probably some good news. It puts your mind to rest and maybe gets rid of all this frustration that you've been going through. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the uh, Cook's Tarot. I have shuffled this deck and I have put it in the description box so you can have a look. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Cups over here, and it looks like you're walking away from a very chaotic, really miserable situation here uh, that might have caused a lot of drama in your life uh, and a lot of emotional problems as well. So, you know, you've been very, very upset about this particular situation, and you're uh, leaving it all behind and uh, letting go of it. Maybe this is what you want. This is the energies that you, do, you don't want to deal with the situation anymore. You want to go into a place that's more peaceful or into the light, if you like, you know, some place that you have more enlightenment going on and you're, you know, leaving behind all the chaos and all the misery that you have uh, been dealing with recently. So an, uh, a feeling of wanting to walk away to something more stable, uh, something that is better for you. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. This is also about walking away and leaving behind situations. So you've been doing a lot of thinking about it. It might be a legal situation. You've got a, uh, um, you know, uh, a Swords card over here, which always deals with maybe legal problems or maybe deception uh, in some kind of form. Uh, so there was some kind of deception, um, you know, that you are trying to move away from. You're still in two minds about it because she's still turning and looking behind her. Um, but, you know, you're trying to get away from it um, as, you know, as quickly as possible, as well as as quietly as possible because she's taken her shoes out. So you are trying to move away from it. Maybe there was a lot of drama. You can see with these cups, uh, they're all, you know, uh, in in the water over here. There's lots of suds over here. So it's like a lot of drama. Uh, and here, you know, you're trying to move away from all that drama as well. And there was a lot of things said because these biscuits are in the form of swords as well. So there's a lot of problems uh, that you're trying to walk away from uh, and, you know, leave it all behind and move away from it. But you're still, you know, something is still holding you back. Maybe that person that you were dealing with who was uh, the one who was very deceptive he's still making a big fuss and a big noise or they're, they're still stirring up a lot of problems because this dog is barking you know and um making a big fuss and this woman is trying to walk away from it so this is probably what's happened this person that you're trying to leave behind or you're trying to walk away from it is not having any of it and is causing still stirring up problems and and still saying things now this person that you were dealing with was quite malicious you can see this woman's got her cake and she wants to eat it. So whatever, you know, she's grinning. So whatever trouble they caused up or stirred up uh, in your life, uh, they made a big deal of it and caused a lot of problems. And, uh, you know, we let everybody know that they were the ones that won 
in this situation. So you are feeling a little bit defeated as well. That's why you're trying to get away from it as soon, you know, as quite quietly as possible, because maybe you're tired of all the drama that has gone on with it. But this person's, uh, you know, um, gloating over the success that they had uh, over you. So whatever they did, whatever they said was very vindictive, it was very harsh, it was very nasty. Um, and, you know, they caused, because they're, they're being even represented by this barking dog, they told everybody about it and caused up a lot of problems. And maybe they made you look, um, you know, really bad. They made you look very foolish. It made you look, uh, you know, humiliated. Um, so this is what the situation is. And this is probably why you want to just walk away from it, you know, just get away from that situation. So in the past, you've got the Six of Pentacles over here, and this is about things happening that you were not aware of um, in this particular deck. Because you can see this man is handing out apples, but one hand he's stealing uh, the eggs over here. So there was some kind of situation where, uh, you know, you thought one thing was going on when behind the scenes there was something else that was, um, you know, quite nasty that was going on quite dubious that was going on behind the scenes. So you might have been involved in that kind of situation where the person that you were dealing with appeared to be very, very uh, honest or appeared to be very, very upfront, but behind your back they were doing things that were really, really nasty. And from these three cards over here, uh, this eight of so uh, eight of cups and this uh, seven of swords, it seems like, you know, there was a lot of um, hidden things that were going on, things that were, you know, it was it's almost like um, the right hand didn't know what the left hand was doing. So you really were not aware that this was going on behind the scenes. And it's upset you quite a bit because you've got the five of cups over here and this is crying. Uh, this is, you know, shedding a lot of tears about the whole situation, feeling like there was a, quite a big loss. So this might say, you know, the, the, um, the seven of swords is about theft. It's about deceit. And so whatever's happened, you can see this person is sitting in the night, in the middle of the night, crying over things that were spilt or things that they were lost, that were lost. And, you know, they're very, very emotional, very depressed, very unhappy, um, very miserable about what it, what happened. So whatever this case was, was um, uh, very vindictive and it caused uh, a lot of loss and you are crying over it. You are very, very miserable about it. And this has been going on for the last few months. Now you've got the Queen of Wands over here, so you are trying to take charge of the situation again. You're trying to, despite whatever's happened, you're still trying to put on a very brave face and show that you still have your dignity intact and you still are in charge of the situation. This is what you're trying to portray. So um, going into the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. And this is, you know, it's, it's quite a, a decisive card. Uh, here she's got this knife that she's holding down uh, you know she's showing people that she she knows what she wants uh, she's going to make that decision and she has decided so you know you uh, time seems to be of the essence of here so you need to come across as somebody uh, who knows exactly what they want it's also finding value in yourself again and getting back your self-confidence again and getting back on your feet again so make sure that, you know, you're coming across as that kind of a person and you will, uh, you will need to decide and, you know, make the decision pretty soon um, because of this watch, um, you know, looking at the time um, and also showing people that you are well, uh, worth it and you are valuable and you are not, uh, you know, th you were not the person that was the, the deceiver, but you were deceived. So you need to show people your value. Uh, you know, if people are saying that, you know, accusing you of things, you need to come out there and speak your truth and speak it with quite a lot of force. You know, um, put forth uh, who you are really in this situation. Really speak your truth. So you've got the page of pentacles over here. And um, this is about you um, um, working very, very hard. You might have some kind of project. It seems like you are very, very focused on your work. You might be starting something that's to do with studying. Uh, this is a very precise action that this man is doing. He's measuring and, uh, um, you know, getting things very organ organized, really. He's also got a little piggy bank over here. So, you know, you might need to actually save some money as well. So put aside all the little coins. Make sure that you're not overspending and focus on your work. And it seems like that's what you're going to have to do in the future to get through this situation. And be very uh, precise in what you're doing. Uh, be very single-minded as well. You've got the world card over here. So this is the end of a, <coughs> excuse me, an end of a cycle. 
This is also receiving closure on the situation. So whatever happens, you will understand what why it happened. Um, and this is also a card of achievement. So whatever your goals are, whatever you want to achieve, you will come out victorious from it. But you will also get closure from that situation. And you will be able to move on. That cycle is now come to an end. So the two of cups, you're hoping that you, know, you can meet some, uh, have friends or meet people that are supportive and people that are honest or people that are uh, on your um, pathway as well. So you're hoping for some kind of soul connection. Uh, and you're also hoping for healing because you've got this caduceus over here, which is talking about healing, communication, meeting people. Uh, you want that kind of relationship to come in. So going into the future, you've got the Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the King of Wands. So this is being very precise about what you want to do. Uh, you can see this person's got these uh, leaks on the chopping board over here. So you need to cut out people that are not serving you. You need to make that decision. If it's a legal decision, then that legal decision is going to be made, and you will receive news about that. Um, so definitely something is going to come off it, and it's going to be something very concrete and something you know very precise that comes out of it. And it's also moving away from any kind of difficult situation. So the Knight of Swords always de deals with like legal situations or difficult situations and a um, precise decision being made about it. It's a legal decision or you make a decision to cut things out, chop it out of your life or you or that um, legal judgment is made and you make and that news comes to you. The four of cups, it looks like, um, you know, you are quite... Um, this is be an offer being made to you in a situation where you don't really see... Um, there being any possibilities of an offer. So, uh, you know, these jugs are all empty. It seems like you feel like there was a loss, that there's nothing left in the situation, or, you know, you can't really see where this offer is going to come from, but there, it looks like there's something that's coming in. This person's being offered a glass of champagne. You need to look around you and make sure that you see this offer. This person's got um, their eyes closed. So there's some kind of information that you're not seeing or you don't want to address, but you do need to look at that you know, open your eyes and look at it, look around you. There's something that is being offered to you. Um, you know, it might, it might seem uh, rather insignificant, but it is going to bring a lot of change and it's something that's exciting that will come your way. And then you've got, um, there's, there's also somebody around you. This dog's got this little bowl over here. So there's somebody around you that you might need to help or it's somebody around you that's going to be there to, to give you some advice about accepting this particular offer. So it's important for you to speak to people, look around you, be very intuitive. And the last one is the King of Wands. It looks like there is an offer. There's some kind of contract over here uh, to be signed. So this might be some kind of job offer that comes in, or this could be some kind of something that somebody gives you. So this offer, that's going to be long lasting. Um, and it's something that is, you know, uh, acknowledges the fact that you're very good at what you do or, um, it's, it's some kind of contract that you have to sign or, um, you know, it could well be with a work, could be with a project. It could be something that lifts you away from uh, the situation and an acknowledgement of how good you are at what you do. So don't, um, don't keep your eyes closed. In other words, make sure that you are uh, receiving this offer. So even if it seem, seems insignificant, um, you know, cut out the things that are negative and don't dwell on them. And uh, focus on yourself and focus on what is coming in. There is something coming in. So this is the Animal Tarot, and I'm just drawing three cards from it for the Oracle read. And the first card is the Queen of Spring. Uh, and it is, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So you might be busy, uh, but it looks like, um, you know, act with confidence with this card of the Queen of Spring. Because you're very talented, brilliant, and independent. So you keep that in mind. You've got the Three of Winter over here, which says sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to enjoy it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work through these emotions, you'll be stronger than before. So there are people that help you, and there is a new moon here, so things are starting up, uh, but you are stronger than you, you know and you will get through the situation. And the last card is the Five of Summer, which says, focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest intentions for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so you can move forward and upward. 
So this is a lovely sunflower card over here, and you need to get over this problem. So this is Five of Cups and Five of Summer is saying that whatever happened, happened for a reason. Maybe now it exposed people for who they are. Maybe you thought they were wonderful and then they turned out to be nasty. But it brought things to light. And now take it as a learning lesson and move forward. And things will start looking up. It looks like, you know, once you move away from it, you make your decision, you, you're going to get a lot of offers coming in for you. And it is time for you to be very decisive about what you do.